Hi, I'm Mike Lena, uh, trainer here at the Athletic Club of Bend. Uh, I'm also TPI, Titleist Performance Institute certified. Uh, so here I really do try and specialize in golf performance training um, along with all the other training that I do. So one of the things that people ignore um, tends to be their, their physical condition. You know, if they have limitations in their, in their bodies, especially if you're out taking lessons uh, and the instructor keeps giving you ideas of how to change your golf swing and it just feels like you can't get it done, a lot of times that means you have limitations in your body that are keeping that from happening. And whatever swing faults you have, there's usually a biomechanical reason why that swing fault is there. Uh, if that's true, I'm the guy to see. I have a lot of exercises that can help you correct those, help get things, you know, whether it's shoulder tightness, hip tightness, immobility, hamstring tightness is a big one. Uh, I have quite a few exercises that can do that and I can customize a program for you to help tackle those, those issues. We can either work with your golf pro uh, or if you're not seeing a golf pro, you know, you don't have to do that either. You can just come and see me and we can do some things to evaluate how it is. I'm going to show you a few exercises today in this video to give you an idea of what I can do for you. Where you're at right now. And what I want you to do is take and arch your back up and then push your back down into the mat, then arch it back up. And then I want you to find neutral. Neutral is kind of your natural position. And once you find neutral, I want you to stabilize there, right okay? Up. Lift as far as you can. What I want you to do is then lower it back down. So you're just gonna do this 10 times. Don't let your hip move at all. It's just raising the leg and lowering it straight. It's a great one for shoulder mobility. This one's called dead bugs because you look like a dead bug. What you're really focusing on is the posterior chain. So you want your hamstring and the glute to do most of the work on that leg that's down, okay? Let's give it a try. Standing up nice and tall, nice tall spine. There you go. 